This is going to be rich coming from me, but forget the gear. As Percy W. Harris once said, skill in photography is acquired by practice, not by purchase. The reason I bought all five M10 cameras is because I use them a lot and I have more money than brains. And mostly, it would make me look like a big baller with so many M10 cameras in one YouTube video. Anyways, it could have been worse. It could have been my money. My plan was to keep them all and truly use them up. Unfortunately, I only have two ends. My health isn't what it used to be, and I have developed a bad back over the years. When I make photos now, I go out and use only one camera and one lens at a time. It's more enjoyable and easier on my back. I know nothing about it. I turned my thinking on to make sure it's aligned with yours. I'm obviously I minimize what I use partly because I'm no longer a young man. Gone are the days I could carry three cameras and a bunch of lenses. Gone are the days where I could go out shooting for hours on end. With just one camera and one lens at a time, it's what I have in my hands. It limits what I can do, which is funny enough, because I feel I'm even more creative with a smaller kit. With less options, I'm more productive. I have no hesitation. I don't ask myself if a given shot would be better with a black and white camera or Tri-X film stock if it would work better with a 35, a 50, or 24 mil lens. I just shoot with what I have and quickly move on to the next photo opportunity. And that's it. I have two wonderful young boys and a beautiful wife I like to spend time with and be home for. I like dropping my kids off at school in the morning and picking them up from school in the afternoon to take them to the park. I love taking them to basketball, rugby, and to the pool on weekends. Two years ago, when I started working on this video, I was not where I am today. A lot has changed in the last two years, not only my health. To grow as a photographer, we must focus on the photos we make, not the cameras or the lens we use to make these photos with. That's where it all starts. The only way to get better at this game is to figure out what you want to photograph, then look how others have photographed it before you, and somehow push yourself to elevate the genre you want to pursue. Push yourself to do something different than what has already been done. I like making good images more than I like the camera gear I use. Oh, but I won't lie. Good gear makes it more pleasant to go out and make photos with, that's for sure. Just that, at the end of the day, it's really not about the gear. To prove the gear has very little to do with anything, I took apart the last disposable Kodak camera my kids used this winter during our ski holiday. I used the cheap plastic lens in that Kodak disposable camera, drilled the hole on a Leica and body cap. I crippled my camera on purpose, just for the hell of it. Went out and made photos with it, using an M10, an M10R, and an M10 monochrome. It's great fun, a very light and compact setup. It's fun, but it does get old fast, yet it works. These are not the best photos I ever made, but they are not the worst either. It's really not about the equipment. It is about the photos you make. It is about the memories you create. It is about how you feel about yourself when looking at your photos and how you feel when looking at other people's photos. It's about the connections you make and the people you meet thanks to your photography. When all is said and done, it is about how you made other people feel, how other people make you feel, and a little bit of what you leave behind when you're gone. Are you really doing your best? Are you making better photos today than those you made yesterday? Are your photos way better today than they were a couple of years ago? Do you have something to say or something to prove to yourself? Or are you just going through the motions, struggling and blaming your equipment, hoping a new camera will make you a better photographer, hoping that next lens will unlock your hidden potential? Good photography is about the photos you made, not the equipment you use. Focus on the end result, not the cameras and lenses you have. That will change how you approach photography. You don't become a better photographer because you have new camera gear. You become a better photographer by making better photos, regardless of the gear you use. Upgrade your creativity, not your gear. If you are serious about improving, the only person you have to compete with is yourself. With who you are today as a photographer. How do you get better today versus how you were yesterday as a photographer? That's the question. On the one hand, it is easier than you think because you're in full control of yourself. But 
On the other end, it is the most difficult thing to do because of all your self-doubts, lack of confidence, plus probably thinking other people are more deserving of you because they have more talent. They don't have more talent. They just work harder at it. Talent is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. It is the most difficult thing to achieve because it requires work, a mountain of work. Improving oneself is not unlike eating an elephant. Looking at that elephant on your plate, it does seem impossible to finish, doesn't it? Are you going to give up before you even start? How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. That's how. How do you grow as a photographer? One step at a time. Baby steps. One foot in front of the other. Growth doesn't happen overnight. It's a never-ending marathon of learning and practice. Learning and practice. Learning and practice. It's a lifelong commitment to practice and learning. It's a never-ending road. And to loosely quote Robert Frost, miles to go before you sleep. Miles to go before you sleep. There's still a long way to go. It never ends. Turn my opinion around.